Hey guys, welcome back to DadBot 2.0. My name is Brian, and in this video, I wanna talk about whether or not Kimio is still king of the hill when it comes to PED type products, specifically SARMs and peptides. So, let's get into this. Uh, before I do though, if you guys would please subscribe, hit that little bell notification and like this video. It helps out a ton with the algorithm and I really appreciate the support. So as we all know, Kimbo is kind of like the gold standard and always has been when it comes to the quality of SARMs specifically. Okay, but recently we've seen quite a bit of turbulence in the industry. Companies getting shut down, going out of business, etc. And with this turbulence in the industry, we've seen a number of things happen. Specifically, bad companies are tending to go away and good companies are expanding their inventory. Now, one thing about Kimio that is unfortunate is that they don't really expand their inventory, okay? They've had the same basic line of SARMs specifically for a very long time. They do have some peptides, but it's very limited, okay? That being said, you can't dispute the quality of the product. Now. When it comes to the SARMs, they have powder and liquid, and that's it, okay? They don't have capsules, they don't have injectables. You have powders and liquids, and that's it. And it's kind of unfortunate. Now, Rats Army was just blowing up, right? We all know Rats Army was a great company that had a huge selection of products. They were expanding very quickly. They had a phenomenal reputation, and then they got raided and shut down, which is very unfortunate. We also lost Science Bio this year, which was very unfortunate as well. They decided to shut down they claimed it was because of everything going on in the industry and they just didn't want to be in the business anymore. For whatever reason, they shut down, okay? Which is very unfortunate because they also had a, an extremely good quality of product, especially on the peptides. They had a huge, huge selection and nobody really compared to them when it came to the peptides. So now we're kind of in limbo here with, okay, so who is now kind of king of the hill when it comes to peptides and SARMs? And I'm not condoning their use, so please don't be buying these to use for yourself. These are for lab uses only, for your lab rat, whatever, only by licensed you know, researchers. So don't be using these products on yourself. But I do want to just hash out who is actually king of the hill right now when it comes to these products. So I want to look at Swiss Kims because lately they've really expanded their inventory and they've done a number of things that I think are noteworthy. One of those things is that they bought out Science Bio's peptide line. So they have pretty much all of Science Bio's peptides relabeled with the Science Bio, or relabeled from Science Bio to Swiss Chems. It's the same product, just a new label on it. So we know the peptides are very high quality. They've also been expanding into new SARMs, new peptides. They have a huge selection of products now that they didn't have all that long ago. So just to go over it real quick, they have everything from anti-aging, uh, nootropics, SARMs, injectable SARMs. I think those are out of stock right now. Metal enhancement pills, huge line of peptides, post-cycle therapy, and even Kratom. So a huge line of products, um, and the quality is very, very high. One thing I like about them is it's one of the few companies out there that provides capsules that I actually see benefit from. And the benefit I'm getting from those is equal to the same dose of a Kimio product. That being said, you know, 10 milligrams of Rad140 from Swiss Kims is doing the same thing as 10 milligrams of Rad140 from Kimio, right? So I know the quality is very, very high. And like I said, Kimio only does liquids and powders. And to me, the liquid is just very obnoxious to try to drink, but you're not supposed to be drinking it, so don't be doing that. I always add it to grapefruit juice, but like I said, you're not supposed to be doing it, so don't do it. But a capsule is much easier to swallow and get down as opposed to a nasty tasting liquid. So that's one reason I really like Swiss Kims. I can trust the quality. Um, it's in capsule form, so I don't have to worry about that nasty taste. And they have a huge, huge selection of products. So right now I'm getting almost everything from Swiss Kims. Uh, I have not been disappointed yet in the quality and they have everything basically that I need. Everything from PCT to AC262 to you know, Rad150, which is something very few people are carrying right now. They have it all in stock and it's high quality. Now the issue is a lot of people don't like the checkout system because they use mesh when it comes to credit cards and the mesh payment system kind of seems scammy. I, you know, I agree it's not the greatest system out there, but it's very hard to find a credit card processor who will actually accept um, payments for this kind of company. It's gray market type stuff, research type products, right? And most card companies don't want to be involved in this industry. So they have to use something like mesh to kind of get around that, which is kind of a pain, especially for us customers. 
Uh, but to me, it's worth it because of the quality of product. And I would say that they are right up there with Kimio as far as quality, but I would say they actually surpass Kimio as far as the variety of product um, because they simply just smash Kimio when it comes to variety. And like I said, the quality is absolutely top notch. Um, so go check out Swiss Kims. I think that they are probably going to become the new emerging leader in this industry, especially since Rats Army is now gone. I think Kimia, or I think Swiss Kims is basically going to take their place. I see more and more people going towards Swiss Kims since they have everything. Um, and so I think in the future years, we're going to see Swiss Kims basically take over as the industry leader for this type of product. So if you guys want a discount code, you can get 20% off with uh, code DADBOD2.0. Go to the link in the video description. You can use the link there. You can find my code. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, comment on it, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.